We're here today because I'm inspired by this mascara that Robert Walsh was talking about and it's new from Refi. I think Ruffy, I think it's Refi is the name of it. It's like 26 bucks for this mascara, but it is so unique. It's so wild. It looks like something that will work for my sparse little short lashes. So I wanted to sit down and try that today and possibly film a, a declutter, or do a couple of videos and just hang out with you guys because I do miss you and I do think about I think about you and I love this channel. I just, yeah, it just happens. Sometimes you're just like, well, I'm distracted over here and I'm over there and I'm just, life is happening. And before you know it, you know, all this time passes and you're like, whoa, I haven't even like sat down to like do anything. So here I am today and we're just, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna have some fun. So if that sounds cool, stick around because I'm about to get into it. But before I do, if you haven't already, you know the drill, like, subscribe, come hang out my channel. It'd be really great to have you here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. <laughs> so my allergies have been doing a thing and I'm like, Ugh, spring is springing and it's like sprung in my sinuses. So it's doing a thing. I sound a little congested. I sound a little congested and that's, that's where we're at today. But I first want to show you guys some things that I purchased. I haven't done a lot of shopping, but I was inspired and it wasn't just uh, the mascara that got me out shopping. It was a couple other things, things that I've had for a minute. I know. <laughs> The first thing I want to show you guys is this, and I think that uh, Patrick Starr is rebranding this or doing a re-up on this because I haven't seen it anywhere else. I came across this. I was so excited when I saw it because I've been wanting to try it for the longest time. I remember Trixie Mattel talking about it and saying that it works amazing and it's just fantastic. If you know, my favorite is the one from Pharmacy. It works, but it's like, it leaves something to be desired. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. Maybe it's the feel of the product. I'm not really sure. There's just something about it that makes me kind of, um, I don't know. It's okay. Maybe I'll try it again when he does a rebrand. This is good, but it's not like show-stopping good, if that makes any sense. Okay, so, you know, the big thing going on a couple months back where Jacqueline Hill shut down all her brands and stuff, and there was a huge sale on her products that were in-house at Ulta. Well, I went ahead and I purchased this and it is her, um, can you guys see it? Is it blinding? Is it great? It's uh, her setting powder. I went ahead and I grabbed this because it was so inexpensive. It was like 17 bucks for this when I got it like several months ago, which shows that my filming has been incredibly sparse. But dude, I, I'm, I just wanted to try it. It looks so pretty. I'm thinking, is it going to be like a highlighter under my eye? Is it going to do like a weird deal? I don't know, but I'm going to give this a shot. We're going to see if we like it or not. I'm going to Hopefully don't, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Am I gonna turn out really shiny? Maybe. Am I gonna look really weird? I don't know, maybe, possibly. It might be great. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews on it, but I decided to pick it up because it was so cheap and I was like, why not? Let's go ahead and get it. The next thing I got is another one of these freaking eyeliners from uh, Kiss. <laughs> As you guys know, I love this. And another thing that I got was, um, let me put the little thing back on because it's just the unicarton because I've been already using it. It's this very expensive lip balm from, you guys know, Drunk Elephant. I'm obsessed. Yeah, this, it's great. And the next thing we got that we're gonna try today is this. Oh my God, I'm very excited. Here it is, Refi. Um, it's their Lash Mascara Lift Deal that they got, am I even saying this right? No, I'm not. It's the Lash Sculpt. Let's get it right if we're gonna do it. Let's do it proper. And it's um, in black. And I, I don't know, it was when Robert Welsh was talking about it and I saw the, how it looked. The wand is so freaking cool. I kind of want to open it up just to, just to show you guys. I'm going to open it regardless because we're going to be trying it once I put my makeup on. But is there any way I can get this thing open without destroying the unicorn? Probably not. But I'm going to do it anyway. Let's see. I just want to show you guys the, the wand really quick because for some reason I just feel like, ooh, that's kind of cool. It's honestly, it's giving KKW vibes it's for sure. That's what this is. It's, it's doing a Kim K or... Um, what is it, the Hailey Bieber road? It's looking like that. It's giving me that kind of feeling. But the wand, let's get into the wand portion of the program. I feel like <laughs> this might be a little difficult on my non-dominant hand, because I'm left-handed. I don't know how it's gonna work right-handed, if I might struggle with it, but it does look like, because one of the things Robert Wells was saying in his video was that it looks like it will grab every lash. And I am so excited to see how that's gonna turn out and if it's gonna help, like, do a thing for my lashes, so I don't know. Well, how's everybody been? Are you excited for uh, St. Patrick's Day? That's coming soon, <laughs> right? Anybody doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? I never do anything for St. Patrick's Day. I just, 
I don't even understand the holiday, to be honest, because, um, I don't know. I don't drink. My God, nobody needs to see me drunk. Oh, Lord. Drunky poo is not for me. But, ugh, that's why I gotta throw stuff out. I'm not even, I have a ton of stuff here that's, like, so old. It's been here forever, and it's gotta go. So, what I need to do is, um, put a little something on my face. So, let me get started with that, and we'll continue to visit, because... I really just want to visit with you guys. I don't know. I don't really want to talk about anything negative. I want to keep it all positive, and I know that I, uh, there's just been a lot of crap going on, and I don't want it to be about that. I just want to have fun and hang out. So I got a little of my bronzer on. I'm just going to bounce this into my skin here. I did my little skin tint. I did a little bronze moment. Just trying to look a little more together so that <laughs> so that I look more together. A little more together. I don't know. What am I even saying? All right. I also want to do this just to... If you're my age, if you know, you know. You want to get rid of the, or at least add a little shout out to that area so it looks a little bit better. What have you guys been doing lately? Let me know. Um, what's been happening with you guys lately? I know there's been a lot of drama going on on YouTube and I've been watching all of it. I'm watching all the drama with like Hailey Bieber and Justin and they're talking about how oh, they want them to be <laughs> divorced, which is kind of, I don't get it. They're talking about how TikTok is gonna get banned. It seems like it's a unanimous thing where they're gonna get rid of TikTok, which is kind of crazy. The TikTok ban hearing just happened today, so here's a simple explanation of everything that happened. I watched the entire hearing and read both of the proposed bills that were introduced today. The first had less to do with banning TikTok and more to do with stopping data brokers from selling American data to countries like China and Russia. The second bill is where it gets a little more interesting. This bill, if turned into law, would stop any American from being able to use TikTok. And here's what's weird. The way they would do this is by finding any app store that allows someone to download TikTok, $5,000 per user. And they would find any internet hosting service that allows someone to access TikTok, $500 per user. So if the ban came into effect tomorrow, you wouldn't be able to download TikTok and the TikTok app and website wouldn't work anymore. I tried looking, but there's nothing in the bills that talks about what would happen to someone if they somehow managed to access TikTok despite these regulations. But these bills still are in the drafting stage, so it could be added later on down the road. The main thing I noticed is that almost all of the things they said about TikTok could be said about almost every other social media app. They kept making it sound like TikTok TikTok is just a constant stream of Chinese propaganda, which I don't know about you, but for me, it's not. The good thing is that this bill still has to go through the House, the Senate, and then be signed by the president before it's turned into law. I think it's so funny that this is what the US government is focusing on when there's literally apps out there like Timu that have histories of collecting private information, way more than TikTok. I don't know what the deal is gonna happen there, but I think it's kinda, kinda nutty that they're thinking about banning it and how many people, when they found out about it, rallied together, because there's so many people on TikTok, including myself, um, who don't want to give up TikTok. They like watching it, so they've called in to, you know, their representatives, like, flooding the offices of people who are just like, and just going off on those who work there because they're not really talking to the representative, they're talking to the person who's taking the messages for said representative, and those people are just getting a ton of just, like, hate. It's terrible, man. It's like, my heart goes out to them, knowing what it's like to work in customer service, just having a ton of people just bombarding you with phone calls, angry and wanting, you know, their <laughs> their platform to stay live and, and all that stuff. I mean, I can see how people would be frustrated because I enjoy TikTok. I think it's a lot of fun. But I, I certainly wouldn't want to call and yell at someone who's like just working behind a desk trying to live their life. You know what I mean? It's one thing to say, hey, I, I'm calling to, to vote no on the ban of TikTok, but to, you know, just go off on some strange person that's just working for their minimum wage. Seems kind of messed up to me, but that's what's been going on with that. And, uh, look at we're getting a nice base going. This looks good. I, I haven't even really been doing that much makeup. It's been very, like, minimal. Even though I bought this stuff, like I said, I've had this freaking Jaclyn Hill thing for a while and I haven't touched it. It's so sad. It's like, where have I been? I couldn't even tell you. I don't know. Um, here. <laughs> I've been here. Alright, I need a little blush because that's going to also add a little light to my face. And there's Gilligan because he just wants to keep coming in and startling me. It's like his favorite thing to do around the house. He has been incredibly lovey. He just got a haircut and every time he gets a haircut, he is um, extra, extra just cuddly and sweet. I love our girl that comes over to, you know, to do the grooming for him. She's really wonderful. And he likes her too, he's very comfortable with her. But this time around, I don't know what it was. I had, usually I close the door so he can't like crawl under the bed or anything like that. I had completely forgotten. 
and I guess he must have heard her at the door. I don't know what happened, but he heard her before I did. And he ran, because he likes to be a pain in the butt, hid under the bed. I was having the hardest time getting him out from under the bed. I, we both had to work together to get him out from under the bed because it was damn near impossible to do so. I always stress, I, when I have to put him in the carrier, it's like, it's a thing. I, I always stress out on that because I don't want to scare him and I don't want him to feel uncomfortable and then I start to feel scared when he gets like that and it's just a whole like moment because I love our cat and he's such a good boy that it's like, yeah. so um, even though the outcome is always positive and he looks, you know, adorable and all clean and cute and everything, it's the whole leading up to the getting him into the carrier. I think it's not really her that he's nervous about or the bath per se because he'll jump in the bathtub here like he wants to be bathed. We've bathed him before, you know, a couple times and he's fine with it. But it's like getting him in the it's the whole carrier that brings the stress i hate the carrier but i he has to go in there to get to the you know the grooming van outside it's just that's the way it is but yeah it sucks and i always feel bad and this time was no exception except it was even worse because he heard her coming up the freaking walk somehow i don't know i don't know what it was but he like spidey senses kicked in and he freaking took off and i was just <laughs> it took me a while to be unstressed after that I, I had to like calm down because I felt so bad I'm like please come in and help me get him I he walk him out front of the bed and it's a heavy bed too I had to lift that bastard up to try and like navigate it out of the way so I could get him out from under there it just sucked but anyway that's one thing that's been going on so um yeah you're all caught up to speed I was watching this video on TikTok since we're talking about TikTok where this lady and I heard this too when I did my makeup classes from one of the artists there who had one time had this thing happen where you're doing the lash curler on a client and this lady did it to herself. And it literally like, well, she had something happen where she ended up moving her arm. She pulled out a huge chunk of lashes and she had um, very sparse lashes, sparse. She had very sparse lashes like me. And she just, you could see where there was just nothing there. She pulled them all out. I was, oh God, I gasped. I was like, oh, my heart went out to her, freaking terrible. But I had heard that from one of the makeup artists that one time they had had something, I guess maybe it didn't have the rubber part on it or I don't know what it was that led to that happening, but they were so quick to curl this model's lashes that they literally chopped off with this, chopped off her freaking lashes. So that's like, what? How does that, how? <sighs> that's why I like in the back of my mind now, whenever I curl my lashes, I always think about that. Like, oh God, don't, don't get rid of what little you have. <laughs> So anyway, let's go ahead and give this a shot, see if we like it. Look at that. Ugh, oh, that's insane. Oh, it's on my face. My bad. I just don't even know. Look how freaking cool that is. It does feel like it's grabbing every lash. I gotta look at this mirror. I'm sorry, but I can't see well anymore because, you know, my eyes don't work as well as they used to. That is freaking wild. That's actually pretty cool. So I think the next test is to see if I can do it with my other hands. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna do probably a double coat, but honestly so far, I, I think I like this. I've been liking the Tarte Tubing Lash mascara that they have. I've been using that quite a bit. Yeah, that was one of the things I read in the views. It's really hard to use this with your non-dominant hand, but um, I don't know. I can see where, yeah, it's a little awkward because you only have this one side to work with. It's not like a full wand. It's literally just this and then flat surface. So yeah, I can see where that complaint would come in. But I, you know, I'm doing it. I'm able to get it to my lash line without poking my eyeball. Wait, I should not say that right now. I should wait before I say. Oops. I mean, okay, so I did kind of poke my eyelid a little bit right up here so I did get some mascara in this area and right there close to my lash line but it's not impossible to do it with the non-dominant hand it's just a little bit more difficult so let me do a second coat just kind of oh yeah so it's getting a little thicker but I feel like for this oh god I did it again okay so the wand is a little tricky all right that's cool that's good it's a learning curve it's good to know and we're figuring it out together. That's the whole point of doing this. See? I wanna make it so you guys can see my lashes if it's done anything at all that you think is like worth the 26 bucks. I mean, is it is it 
kind of gimmicky. I mean, I guess a little bit. I can see where it, be, it would be that considered gimmicky, but it's still also cool. I don't know. I, I don't hate it. I do feel like you got to learn a little bit with it. It's, it's not like something you could use right out the gate unless you're really good with unique mascara wands. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you're like super talented and you're like got a steady hand, hey, you're not going to have any issue. It should be easy peasy. Are my lashes super duper long? No, but they're not really like stubby. You know, I feel like it did a thing. I can see them. It, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. And for what it is, I kind of like it. I don't really hate it. I think it's, I, this isn't like a full review. It's a first impressions moment. We're just hanging out and having fun. And I, I'm sure lots of people have talked about this already. So my humble opinion, I don't think it sucks. I think it's cute. I don't know. I think it's okay. What do you think? Do you like it or do you think it's weird? Did you guys purchase this? I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. So this is a finished look. I'm going to keep it kind of simple today. Just mellow. I just wanted to hang out and, and talk with you guys. I'm going to do anything too crazy and you know, really just trying to get back into the swing of things and, and chill out and spend a little time and, you know, all that fun stuff. But I do want to do the declutter and, uh, and I do want to keep going and keep posting. I just need to stay focused and not get distracted by life because it's amazing how quickly time will pass, you know, weeks turn into months and so on and so forth. It just, it's the way it is, but I love you guys. And I'm so glad that I got to have this time to spend with you. And I know I'm a little all over the place. It's just, it's, where my brain is right now and we're experiencing it together because that's what makes YouTube fun. So <laughs> say hi in the comments if you get the chance to. Let me know how you're doing and I look forward to talking to you and it's just been great to hang out for a little bit today. And uh, yeah, this finished look and it's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching. As always, I really do appreciate it and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye!